shout out to I shorten the name it's Maz Mad but it's Mazar Madridi um, I'm doing this this is ginger a plus or a minus and this is definitely the lyric video napalm records so i'm trying my best guys my throat is still killing me so if i'm talking low it's because it still hurts to talk <laughs> and it causes me to cough so i might have to go in for a second dose of antibiotics which sucks but anyway let's get it I'm sorry if I talk low, but it's because it hurts less. Hope you guys have been doing well. Ginger rights. Let's go. time I'm gonna stop it one of the best metal bands of our generation that was seven months ago ginger is gonna take over the USA when they touch down greatest band I've ever heard in a long time Queen Tati how does this have less than a million views I know come to Brazil this is an awesome video I do like the video the clean vocals over the blast beat is a nice change great job love the dynamics of the band butterfly riff melodies then bulldozer like breakdowns. I can't wait till I understand that. Butterfly riff melodies. Then bulldozer like breakdowns. I love this band. Keep kicking ass, guys. With songs like this, Ginger could become a great, as great as Megadeth or Metallica. I feel like they are. Awesome tune with a positive message, peace of mind through a balance of asserting strength and accepting weaknesses. Deep shit. That's what I got from it anyway. That bass is incredible. Facts. They just bury death and power metal and all other styles musically and technically. So impressive.
is a better head of light. I'm going to see Ginger and April with Cradle of Filth for the North American tour. Who else is going to be experiencing this amazing band when they come to the States? After I see them open for Cradle, I will look forward to seeing them headline near me. Just got chills from the lyrics. Ginger's genius. Honored to have seen them live and met Tatiana. Greetings from Guatemala. I have no clue what the true meaning of the song is. I've not looked into it, but it's kind of got me thinking into subjective and objective morality and how there's not a true definition of right from wrong and from what that to divide what you truly think is right or wrong based on your own personal beliefs and to hold yourself accountable for your action the actions you make hmm I wonder I wonder what you guys think all right guys I'm starting to get I'm starting to get tired so let's let's keep going <laughs> 